pod life. A new way of breeding seems to be on the cards in the strange ideals of a rather disturbing international organisation. You won't have to procreate the old-fashioned way, indeed not. You can spawn in an entirely detached way in the future, apparently in their vision, growing your offspring in a pod, in your living room no less, with monitors and a clear covering so you can watch it gestate. Maybe this is what the Tamagotchi things were really all about, prepping kids for a future where you will be inclined to care for a virtual creation. They appear to be doing a good job of desensitising people towards other people, animals, reality and so forth. Changing terms, definitions, meanings. Trying to go for things like birthing person, taking away the word mother and female associated words for things. I believe it's to facilitate a detachment from being normal and doing normal natural things. The system appears to want to insert themselves in every personal detail of your lives. But if they can get people before they are born and manipulate the components, fully monitor the process and adjust as necessary, then you stand more chance of developing what they may consider of a more appealing society. Virtual babies may be for some people, while they train you to do it their way. All monitored, of course. It will be remote and studied. You will be studied. The world around us is one big maze now, and we are the rats. They are building new puzzles, obstructions and incentives as we speak, constantly adapting as we do. But they don't really seem to want us breeding like rats now, do they? If you haven't watched the films Logan's Run and Dark City, you should. And if you haven't read Brave New World, you should. There is much to understand.